So my name is Marty Blackburn and I spend a lot of my time making videos for YouTube in an effort to mainly highlight Pinnack, therefore photography is not a crime. Um, I touch on other subjects such as uh, prisons and police stations, um, but yeah, that's what I do. What would you say was your most memorable audit? My most memorable audit? It's a, it's a tough one between two. Um, the first ever one where I got assaulted, I was in Leeds and I was recording the um, environment enforcement agents that were giving out fines to people, <laughs> dropping fag books and stuff like that. And um, I started recording and I got hit in the neck and punched onto the road. And then the reason why it sticks in my head is a PCSO by the name of Luke Jukes um, approached, he even witnessed half of it and I uh, failed to record absolutely any of it. So it all sticks in my head, it's like that, that, that's the first moment I thought, that's living proof that I, and I think it gets other people, can't really always trust the police. Second one is the Meadow Hall incident where I was with some of the lads that were out with today and it just went crazy, hands on everywhere, people were getting thrown to the ground, it was just insane. Uh, what was it that made you start making videos? So I started making videos after spending about a year, maybe two years, of watching Charlie Beach and Danny Shine, um, mainly Charlie Beach. Um, I just I enjoyed his content, I enjoyed his message behind his content and this is where I picked up the whole thing about how photographers get treated when they're out with just a camera as if it's a weapon and I thought to myself I could probably do that, I could probably give it a go and from the first day that I went out on my first so-called audit I, I fell in love with the cars, I fell in love with the viewers and I just thought I'm going to do this and I'm going to try, try well I'm going to keep doing it until that I see a change. Would you say you've noticed a big change from when you started to now? There's been an absolute massive change. So I started doing, as we call them, audits probably three, four years ago when I was I started proactively getting myself out there when I had time. And at that point, every single place I went to, we were challenged, police were called, there was always something going on. But now, just as today, I've been to a police station and nothing nothing at all, left you alone, left you be. We've also seen the recent memos that have been issued through the entire United Police Force, United Kingdom's Police Force, um, that states to leave us alone, leave vloggers alone, leave people with cameras alone, unless you have a suspicion that they are terrorists, basically. So the fact that that statement's gone out, and I think we have already seen a dramatic decrease in photographers being challenged. In a lot of the videos, I see comments from trolls and stuff like that. Would you say you have a lot of trolls. You know what I did have, if we go back a year maybe two, I had a heavy, heavy amount of trolls that were coming thick and fast from all directions. Um, there were them times where you contemplate, is this worth it? Am I, am I actually doing the right thing here? But I just pushed it aside um, and I don't let it bother me. Um, if people want to leave their negative comments, that's absolutely fine. The only thing that I dislike is when people start referring to my children and stuff like that, you know. It's going to get to any father or family person, isn't it? But other than that, I get my trolls, but I, I just flick them to one side. Where would you like to see your channel going from now? I, I want to see my channel continue to grow. I'd love to get that plaque, um, as, as many of us would. But I also want to try and diversify diversify. Uh, I know there's a lot of topics that the public want to see highlighted that ain't going to get highlighted unless us citizen journalists do it. So I want to go down some different avenues and I need to find somewhere that I can, I can have a positive impact. Where that is right now I don't know. I've got a million ideas and I need to find one that's suitable to me. With the past year being in and out of lockdown and everything else, would you say that's made things harder for being a citizen journalist or easier? Indeed, well if we just go back just to prior Christmas, I was actually a registered journalist with the National Union of Journalists, um, but because well, because they don't like me, is all I can say, in the way that I do things, they removed that membership from me, which was pretty disheartening because I worked so hard to get that, to get that, um, sorry, to get that press card. I was out, I was sending stories into the newspapers every day, doing my best and I finally qualified. I did TV appearances, Channel 4, BBC, did it all. And then this hit, and it did instantly, even though I still had my press card, it still affected me. I was still being challenged, I was being told that I'm not allowed to go here, I need to go home. Um, I received a number of Covid fines, um, I've had four, 
received three, to the post, three through the post, two of which have now already been cancelled. Um, in the end game, they will all get cancelled because I'm legitimately working. But it has definitely made things a lot difficult. I have a slight advantage over a number of other people is that I'm the director of a registered limited company. So I can essentially prove there and then on the spot that I'm working. But a lot of other people who do just as much valuable work as I do, don't have that ability and they're getting, they're getting kicked around, especially by the police in these Covid fines. If you had any advice for anyone thinking of starting up auditing or even filming anything going on YouTube, what would you think, what would you say? I'd say I'd always encourage anyone to get out there do what you want to do but what I'll always say is be mindful of what you're doing try your best not to give false information stick to the facts because if you stick to the facts you can pride yourself on your work if you're gonna falsify your work then you're not gonna have that credibility number two is stay calm it took me a while to learn to stay calm but you need to stay calm otherwise not only is the situation gonna go bad but again you're gonna discredit yourself and I think the, one of the most important things, which took me also time to learn, is have fun, enjoy it. If it's not something thing that you have fun and enjoy, then it's probably not for you. You meet some fantastic people doing this. I've met people from down the country and made some very good friends who I imagine are probably going to be friends lifelong. Have fun, stay safe, keep calm. We've talked a lot about like what you see for the channel and stuff like that. What would you say you've seen change within yourself from starting doing this? The way that I deal with uh, confrontation, way changed. When I first started, someone could say something to me and I'd, I'd be biting back, swearing and stuff, and generally not being the nicest of people to come across, uh, probably not giving the best name to photographers. But now I can hold that full, calm conversation. I can process things in my head before just splurting them out. Um, and I've, I think I've also grown, for the lack of a better word, like business acumen wise instead of just making videos for the sake of making videos trying to wind people up for the sake of trying to wind people up we try to pass a message in every, each and every single video so we're not just out there to wind people and have a laugh because when i first started i did get so much enjoyment out of winding people up i genuinely did but now I'd rather pass on a solid message, and especially for my viewers. I want my viewers to watch my video, enjoy the content, and I want them to take away the message as well, and hopefully pass it on to their friends. Since you've been in my beautiful city today, what have you thought of it so far? I think there's so much more that I want to see, to be quite honest with you. Um, there's so much more I want to see. We've been on, um, what I'd say, a bit of a schedule. We've had to get about and do things. Um, I definitely want to come back. I definitely want to do the tourist thing around the city get about, might even bring my family and children and stay a few nights in a hotel one weekend. Yeah, and one thing I will notice actually as well is a lot of people seem nice. We've had a number of nice interactions. Uh, even we're talking with security, a bank and stuff like that. Really cool, really nice. So yeah, I want to come back and I love the scooters. I think they're absolutely brilliant. And if there is um, anything you'd like to say to anyone watching, um, anything at all, what would it be? Don't be ashamed to speak out if you see something or want to say something about whether it's corruption, someone doing something wrong, people being mistreated, especially by the government's police and agencies that are supposed to be there for our welfare. Speak up, stand out. You, you can make a world of a difference without even knowing. If you want, you can always subscribe to the channel. It'll be much appreciated. Marty Blackborough.